How you doing everybody? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. 10 signs you are under spiritual attack and how to fight back. That's the title of this video. Experiencing a spiritual attack can be a deeply unsettling experience and it is important to address it with both understanding and practical steps. So in this video, I share with you 10 signs you are under spiritual attack along with strategies to help you combat it. Number one, sudden financial problems. Unexpected and severe financial issues could arise if you are under a spiritual attack. For example, a person might face an unexpected job loss or financial setback that feels overwhelming and unmanageable. Number two sign of a spiritual attack is persistent negative thoughts, intense negative thoughts. You find yourself overwhelmed by negative, harmful or intrusive thoughts that seem to come out of nowhere. You may find yourself plagued by intrusive, negative or self-destructive thoughts. For example, a person who typically has a positive outlook might suddenly start experiencing intense self-doubt or feelings of worthlessness. Number three sign that you are under spiritual attack is loss of motivation or purpose. Feeling a sudden loss of interest or motivation in things you once enjoyed or were passionate about is a big sign that you are under spiritual attack. For instance, a person might lose interest in hobbies or activities they once loved, leading to a sense of purposelessness. Number four sign that you are under spiritual attack is strange dreams or nightmares appear. Persistent sleep problems will be in your life. So you have frequent disturbing dreams or nightmares that leave you feeling unsettled or fearful upon waking. You have trouble sleeping or you experience disturbing dreams. All this can be a sign that you are under spiritual attack. For example, someone might struggle with insomnia or have nightmares that are unusually vivid or terrifying. Number five sign that you are under spiritual attack is issues to do with your physical symptoms. You experience unexplained physical symptoms such as, such as fatigue, headaches, or aches that don't have a clear medical cause. You could experience unexplained physical ailments or discomforts. A person might develop persistent headaches, stomach aches, or fatigue without a clear medical cause. Number six sign that you are under spiritual attack is when there is a strain in your relationships. It's when there is severe disruptions in relationships. Your relationships become increasingly strained or contentious with frequent misunderstandings and conflicts. Relationships with friends, family or loved ones might become unusually strained or conflict ridden. For instance, a previously harmonious relationship might become fraught with arguments and misunderstandings. Number seven sign that you are under spiritual attack is spiritual confusion or doubts, spiritual dryness in short. You suddenly feel disconnected from your spiritual practices, beliefs or sense of purpose as if your spiritual life has become dry and meaningless. You might experience a significant crisis of faith or spiritual confusion. For instance, someone who was previously confident in their spiritual beliefs might suddenly question everything and feel disconnected from their faith. Number eight sign that you are under spiritual attack is increased temptations. You encounter a sudden or unusual increase in temptations or urges to engage in behaviors you usually avoid or find troubling. 
Number nine sign that you are under spiritual attack is unexplained fear. Constant fear or anxiety. You feel a pervasive sense of fear or dread even in situations where you would normally feel safe or secure. You might feel a persistent sense of dread or anxiety without a clear cause. For instance, someone might suddenly feel overwhelming fear before important events or during daily activities, disrupting their normal life. You experience intense and unexplained emotional swings such as extreme anxiety, sadness, or anger, which disrupts your normal state of being. The number 10 sign that you are under spiritual attack is the obstacles and blockages. Unusual obstacles and setbacks in your life. You face a series of obstacles and difficulties in your personal, professional, or spiritual life that seem disproportionate or unjustified. You might face an increase in obstacles or setbacks that seem out of proportion. For example, someone might experience a series of unfortunate events or failures that seem to come out of nowhere. You also experience unusual oppositions or hostility from people who usually support or understand you, or you feel an unwanted sense of isolation. You might feel isolated or cut off from support systems or communities. For instance, someone might feel as though they are drifting away from their social circle or spiritual community, feeling alone despite being surrounded by others. Now, how do you fight back? We've looked at the signs that you are under spiritual attack now. How do you fight back? Number one, strengthen your spiritual practices. Engage more deeply in your spiritual practices, whether that is prayer, meditation, or attending religious services. Strengthening your connection with your spiritual beliefs can provide protection and clarity. Number two way of, say, of fighting back these spiritual attacks is to seek support from others. Reach out to trusted friends, trusted family members, or spiritual leaders for support, guidance, and prayer. Sometimes external perspectives and encouragement can be very helpful. Number three, use protective rituals. Depending on your spiritual or religious tradition, you might use protective rituals or symbols to create a sense of safety and ward off negative influences. This could include things like carrying protective talismans or using specific prayers or chants. Number four, sign you are under spiritual attack and how to, to deal with these attacks. How to fight these attacks. Number four way of fighting these spiritual attacks is practicing self-care. Taking care of your physical health through proper rest, nutrition, and exercise can strengthen your, your resilience and help you cope better with spiritual challenges. Number five way of fighting these spiritual attacks is to set boundaries. Establish clear boundaries with people or situations that seem to be exacerbating your distress. Protecting your space can help reduce the impact of negative influences. Number six, way to fight back these spiritual attacks is to engage in positive activities. Focus on activities that uplift you and bring you joy or peace. Engage in hobbies, spend time in nature, or do something creative. This can help shift your focus away from negative influences. To fight back these spiritual attacks, use affirmations and positive self-talk. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations and self-talk. Repeat affirmations. This can help counteract the negative thoughts and reinforce a sense of strength and confidence. You can also practice forgiveness and release any grudges or resentments you may be holding. Holding on to negative emotions can often amplify spiritual attacks. You can also engage in grounding techniques to help you stay, to help you stay centered and present.
This might include mindfulness exercises, mindfulness exercises, deep breathing, or connecting with nature. To fight these spiritual attacks, you can also consult professionals. If the situation persists or worsens, consider seeking help from a mental health professional, counselor, or spiritual advisor. They can provide additional support and guidance tailored to your specific needs. Remember, everyone's experience is unique, so it might take some time to identify what works best for you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. Share this video widely to all those who may need it. Thank you.